A new attempt in Congress tonight to bring new momentum to comprehensive immigration reform. The plan could mean amnesty for the up to 20 million illegal immigrants living in this country. The initiative is being led by Congressman Luis Gutierrez. He is the chair of the Democratic Caucus Immigration Task Force, and he joins us here tonight. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you, Lou, for having me this evening. That was a deep sigh as we began here. Does it seem that we've been here before? Yeah, we've been here before, and uh, my hope is that uh -huh. you and I will have conversations other than uh, those around immigration, that we can end this debate and have comprehensive immigration reform, and you'll still invite me back for other items. Uh, yeah, well, we're talking about health care. We're talking about all sorts of things, always. Uh, the, and this is an issue that, frankly, uh, there is so much distortion, and there has been so much um, obfuscation. Over the course of those, uh, over the course of the past decade, by those who sought to exploit illegal immigrants in this country, uh, those who sought to bring more into this country, I, 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 th I actually thought Charles Schumer, Senator Schumer, uh, was beginning what would be a process toward candor, uh, a direct and honest language, uh, but that doesn't seem to have been followed up upon. You have advanced a new plan, uh, one that calls for amnesty. What drives your ten-point plan? Well, what drives the 10-point plan is to end illegal immigration as we know it. I think, uh, Lou, you and I have had conversations both on the air and off the air about this issue. Right. I mean, I want to end. I don't, I don't want, yes, I want to allow an opportunity to those that are already here to legalize their status. If they've been working, they stayed out of trouble, they're paying their taxes, they're ready to learn English, they're ready to give us their fingerprints and go through a bank background check, I'm ready to give them an opportunity to learn so they can pay all the taxes that are required, learn English, and fully commit themselves to this nation. I'm ready to do that because I think on the flip side, Lou, the reality is we don't have a program to deport 12 million, in my estimation, 20 million in your estimation, well, that I mean, are 4 to 5 million American it. citizen children. We're just not going to deport them. So if we're not going to deport them, let's be safe and let's be smart and let's be practical. Let's tax them and make sure they're paying their fair share by legalizing their status here in the United States. That's my point. Legalizing their status. Mm -hmm. Fundamental to the question becomes, is it every illegal immigrant? Is it unconditional amnesty? Mm -hmm. uh, and what will be the impact of that? Uh, and those are issues. Think about it. We're here in 2009. Uh, as you and I are talking, some left-wing ethnocentric interest groups are trying to, uh, are calling for my firing from CNN uh, because I'm quote-unquote a racist. I could, ob I could I obtain purity in a moment if I would just simply embrace open borders and, and sponsor illegal immigration. Uh, that's the kind of distortion that it's not helpful. The reality is we have some basic questions that people are avoiding asking. Okay. And if I may, let me ask a couple and just see how we go. Right. Uh, go forward. One, uh, should every illegal immigrant in this country receive amnesty? I believe that every undocumented worker in this country who can come forward and show that they violated no other law, except the immigration law, which, um, which they, they used, uh, breaking the immigration law to arrive in this country. That's it. No other felony, no other criminal record. Um, that they're substantive. I mean, they got family. They've got a job. They've been working. They're not on the public dole. And they're ready to prove that by bringing forward and going through a very rigorous uh, background check. I think we should give them an opportunity. Does that mean they go directly to permanent residency, directly to citizenship? No, I think they have to earn that too. But I think we can give them a program of five, six years in which they continue to work, continue to pay so taxes, continue to learn English civics, uh, become fully incorporated, and at the end, if they fill the test, yeah, then we'll let them stay. But I want them to earn, because in the interim period, many Americans just say, well, they're here and they're not paying their fair share. So my program says, let them pay their fair share, because we do not have the political will, we don't have the program to deport them. So why don't we integrate them? And, and that's the way I look. Look, look well, you're not calling for you're undesirable... Not calling for there, I look, there will be undesirable immigrants to this uh -huh. country, which we can weed out of the program very, very easily. We can have a set of rules. Yeah. Right, we, we, can't even, we can't even weed out the undesirable citizens, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay. you, know, you know better than but, that. But, I, but Lou, on, on a serious, I, I think we can because then what we'll have is a smaller population. But look, on top of that, we can't let it happen again. So we need good employment verification system, right? E that makes sure that the employers... 
don't con the system and are able to hire people that aren't supposed to be here. We're looking at Senator Schumer at biometric information to make sure. Look, you verify? my grandpa you in the 30s got the Social Carter. Security card. My grandson, five generations later, has the same technology on that Social Security card. Yeah. So I want to end the illegal immigration. Let's bring new technology to make sure that everybody's working in the United States is qualified to work in the United States and authorized to work here. You support E Verify? I like I like I I would like a rigorous program such as E Verify. And you know, Lou, it's been How about in my plan itself? since the first since the first time we introduced it uh -huh. with Senator McCain and Kennedy and I and Flake introduced it what five years ago now. We always had a vigorous employment verification system. E -verify. We wanna stage it. We e wanna stage it. If I could Lou, we wanna stage it. Well part of the problem with well, why e Verify. Why can't we just be straight? Why don't we just be straight? Mm hmm Okay, it's the most effective program we've got against the hiring of illegal immigrants in the country. Why not simply put it in place? And I'll, I'll you don't you need the stage. Of, yes. it's, it's very simple. Let's I'll get give real. You, I'll give you Let's reason. get honest. Because until we do, we can't get to a solution. And you know that. Well, look, look at the SWIFT plant. You know, they were using E-Verify. And when they went to raid the place, 10% of their workers were undocumented. Mm -hmm. The fact is, you can still fool E-Verify, Lou. You know that you and I can go get somebody else's social security card, steal somebody else's identity, and then submit that to E-Verify, and it says, ring, ring, American citizen, qualified to work. So let's get a system that not only has e an E-Verify component to it, but that also says we need some biometric information to make sure that that Lou Dobbs or Luis Gutierrez, who are legally qualified to work yeah. in the United States, are really the people. So I want to do E-Verify Plus and make sure that our system doesn't get penetrated. And then we end illegal uh, uh, immigration to this country once and for all. And there will not our be undocumented workers. Unless, of course, uh, the people want to continue hiring them and break the law. I guess everybody doesn't pay all their taxes either, right? Uh, but uh, we need to enforce our laws. I think upon that we can certainly agree, and uh, I hope agree to continue the conversation. Thank Congressman you. Luis Gutierrez. Watch yes. and hopefully, we'll, we'll get hopefully back to you verify. We'll, do something. we'll get back to you verify. We will. Let's have another conversation about it. You got a deal. Thank Thanks you. For being here.